Welcome to another edition of Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Now, yesterday I gave a very controversial video, a view that got a lot of likes, a lot of dislikes, a lot of agreeing, a lot of disagreeing. But at the end of the day, it's all about an opinion. Now, I did not appreciate the fact, I did not respect the fact that the WWE fans were chanting boring towards John Cena. Now, it is your right, it is your privilege, your hard-earned money that you pay a ticket, you buy the pay-per-views, what have you, to chant, cheer, and boo whoever you want, whether they're a good guy, bad guy, a heel in between the curtain jerker or the main event. But the bottom line is, after a man, John Cena, who's dedicated his whole entire life, a man, John Cena, who grew up a WWE fan living his dream, a man that has sacrificed so much, a man that has went above and beyond the call of duty, and you have the audacity, the goal, the instant nerve to chant boring at John Cena after he has given his all to the WWE Universe, yes, I find that selfish. I find that ignorant. But you know what? Once again, you're entitled to your opinion. But you want to talk about facts. Well, here's some facts for you. Every time I do a video defending John Cena or talking good about John Cena, you need to realize something right now. I lived before the Attitude Era. I lived in the Attitude Era. I'm one of the biggest Stone Cold Steve Austin fans you will find. I, I, I enjoyed the antics of Degeneration X. I love the promos by The Rock. But just because I was an Attitude Era fan means that I should shit over John Cena. Means I should destroy and hate on the legacy of John Cena and what he represents and what he stands for. And the courage and the commitment and the will and the desire that John Cena shows. But you come on here and you want to state facts. Well, here's what you say. Here's what the viewers and the subscribers, the skeptics and the trolls say. And like I said, I love when I do videos like this because you dislike the video before it starts. You dislike the video and thumbs it down before it finishes. You don't hear what I want to say. But guess what? You hit the play button, so that means you're going to hear some of what I say. And if you want to put it on mute, that's fine because you're still giving me views and you're still giving me feedback. And at the end of the day, it is about just that feedback. Now, here we, here we go. You want to state your facts about John Cena. And I'm going to tell you and I'm going to show you what you've been saying. You say these are the facts. John Cena is steel. John Cena is played out. John Cena is predictable. You've seen enough. Cena sucks. John Cena's five moves of doom. Cena is very limited. And the newest cool trend, like I said, is to chant John Cena is boring. Now, as much as people loathe and hate and criticize and talk down John Cena, there are still that many millions of people who stand up and love this legendary icon, one of the greatest WWE champions of all time. There are the kids, the children, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. John Cena has granted more wishes than anybody in the history of WWE, hell, the history of mankind probably. All right? Now, here are some other facts that you not that you may not like, that you may not see eye to eye with me. Like I said, I gave your facts. I gave your time to shine. I told you about your facts. Now, here's the other true facts. If it wasn't for John Cena, WWE would not be getting the kind of ratings it is right now. Because ratings, for some reason, is still a big deal, even though there's no WCW, even though there's no competition. If Cena left WWE right now, today, WWE's ratings, pay-per-views, and, paper, uh, and buy rates, okay, raw ratings and pay-per-view buy rates, and ticket sales... And merchandise sales, the WWE as a whole would plummet. The WWE, the business would be down. Do you not understand that? Do you not see that? If you think that is a good strategy, if you think that's a great idea, Cena leaving the WWE, if you think the ratings would literally skyrocket when Cena leaves, you are completely mistaken. You don't know the business, you don't know the fundamentals, and you don't know who the money maker is. Okay, yes, the WWE could survive without John Cena. Yes, the WWE can move on without John Cena. But it would take a very long time for them to bounce back. Right now, if you look at the breakdown of the Raw ratings, if you look at every single Raw over the last several years, every time John Cena is in a match or a segment or a promo, it doesn't matter if it's the beginning of the show or the end of the show, the ratings do go up. Maybe not a significant amount. I'm not talking about the Attitude Era ratings, but they do go up. And the fact of the reason and the fact is, and here's another reason for you that you're not gonna like, the reason that the WWE's ratings are not up to par and they're not what they used to be is because there is no competition. There is no WCW breathing down the WWE's neck. Uh there are not the over-the-top superstars and the antics and the storylines of the attitude era that we get today. We don't have the rock, we don't have Stone Cold, we don't have the Generation X. You know, people, that's the big that's the major problem on here. People are too damn they focus on the past too much, okay? They're focused on the past too much, and they don't want to live for the future. They want to live in the past. They want to be a bunch of history teachers. All they know is the past. All they want to do is reflect and remain on the Attitude Era. Listen, the Attitude Era was great. It was the end-all, be-all. WWE would not be in business if it weren't for the Attitude Era. But you got to understand this. We are not in 1996. We are not even in 2006. We are in 2013, and you need to get updated. Like I said, I'm a big Attitude Era fan. I'm one of the biggest Attitude Era fans there is. But you got to understand 
that you can't live in the past and you got to live in the present and you got to live in the future and you got to go with what works. And the fact is, John Cena is a future WWE Hall of Famer. The fact is, John Cena is one of the greatest WWE champions of all time. The fact is that John Cena has one of the most demanding, one of the most grueling schedules that a WWE champion has had in the past 15 years. The fact is, John Cena is one of the hardest workers in the WWE history. Not only one of the hardest, but one of the most dedicated. The fact that John Cena does not give in to the hate, the critics, and the boos, and the boring chants, and the way that John Cena presents himself, the way that he carries himself, shows you exactly who and what John Cena is. John Cena is real. John Cena gives you the passion. He gives you the enthusiasm. John Cena stands up for never give up and never back down. John Cena instills that into all the children and all the girls and all the families that go to these events. John Cena is a proven commodity. John Cena is one of the hardest most working, most dedicated WWE champions of the modern era. Cena is a tried and true commodity in the world of the WWE. But people want something different. They are sick and tired of the same routine. Well, you want Cena to turn heel, right? You want change. You want John Cena's image to be altered. You want Cena to be unpredictable, unstoppable. Well, he's already unstoppable. But for the last several years, you hear the chants directed towards John Cena. We already know it's same old shit. You suck. Uh, you know... But there's one constant. There is one constant through all the hate and criticism. There is still love. There is still admiration. There is still respect for John Cena. And here is the problem. It's when the fans don't watch. It's when the fans don't tune in. It's when the fans don't pay attention to you. It's when they don't give you a reaction. It's when you don't see any ratings. And when they plummet to all-time lows. It's when the merchandise sales aren't coming in. That's when you have a problem. That's when you lose focus. That's when the judgment goes away. But John Cena does not have that problem. When... Well, a heel turn for John Cena. It would be groundbreaking, no doubt about it. It would make headline news. But at this stage of the game, a heel turn would have such an adverse effect on John Cena. The negative effect would be so pronounced, it would be ridiculous. You crave and you starve for John Cena to, to turn into a heel. That's the biggest thing you ask for. All you want is change. But it would not be in the WWE's best interest to turn John Cena heel. Why do you ask? Why would that be a bad idea? Why, would sh why shouldn't the, the WWE go in that direction? Because the adult fans would then start to kill the momentum of a heel turn as soon as it took place. They would start chanting for John Cena. Yes, because like I said, that's the end. That's a cool thing to do. Chant for the bad guys. Okay, while the kids and the girls in the audience would probably turn away from a child to see John Cena turn heel, it would be devastating. It would be a complete flop as well as a failure, and it would completely destroy everything John Cena has stood for as well as what he represents because the adult fans would then start chanting for John Cena as a heel when in reality you're supposed to boo the bad guys and cheer the good guys. But I understand that you can do what you want. But that logic has went out the door a long time ago. Many years ago, the strategy has changed as it concerns the perception and who you're supposed to cheer for and who you're supposed to boo for. Then you have the children and the girls who would probably be booing Cena and it would be a mixed bag of a reaction, which is the same reaction John Cena is getting right now. So what would a heel turn do for John Cena? Nothing good would come out of a John Cena heel turn. It would have more negative than positives at the end of the day. So what sense would it make for John Cena to, to turn heel in 2013? John Cena makes a lot of money for the WWE. He is a very profitable superstar. He is the face of the WWE. He is the end-all be-all. He is what is standing the test of time and he is always coming walking that line. The image of John Cena would not be as profitable towards the children, the families, the Make-A-Wish, the sponsors, Kmart, Everything that John Cena, all, the cereal, the, the Fruity Pebbles, Cena's face, his image would be destroyed and ruined. You say, well, Sean, look at the adults. You know, they, they would start to like John Cena. The merchandise sales would go up. No, it would not go up in my mind. Maybe for a little while it would. Cena would gain a percentage of the adult audience, but then lose a major portion from the kids and girls as well as the families. John Cena has always been a man of his word, and in 2013, for John Cena to give in to fans who are starving for a heel turn would go against everything John Cena has ever stood for. Like I said, we're not in the midst of the Monday Night Wars. WWE does not have to turn up the violence factor. WWE does not have to go um, to that place that they went to in the Attitude Era. If there was competition, if there was ECW, WCW, if TNA turned it up a volume, maybe yes, that would warrant a John Cena heel turn because there would be change. But there is not much change that needs to be done to John Cena right now. Bottom line, a Cena heel turn would be a corporate, corporate nightmare. It would just be horrible. John Cena is doing what he's doing right now because he is a true WWE champion. He is a true superstar and millions look up to him as much as they hate him. They idolize him. Subscribe.